we're going to look at how we can use the microbit to set up an electrical circuit. Uh, we will write a program that changes the LED display based on whether the circuit is open or closed, and we'll use the human body as the switch for the circuit. The connection is made by holding onto the metal parts of two alligator clips. One is connected to pin zero of the microbit, which is positive, and the other is connected to the ground, which is negative. And you can see here that the, the image changes from stick figure to a heart um, based on whether or not the circuit is open and closed. All you need for this project is a micro USB connector, two alligator clips, and, um, and a micro bit. So let's get started. Before I write any code, I want to hook my, my micro bit up to my computer. To do that, plug the micro USB end of the USB cord into the micro bit, and then plug the USB A end into a USB port that is accessible to your computer. And then when you look at your micro bit, you can see that the little yellow light next to the reset button comes on. That means it's operational. Now let's write the code. Start by typing makecode.com into the URL window. Now click on the micro bit, and then click on new project. I'm going to call my project touch sensor. We're going to use the forever block so you can go ahead and drag the on start block into the trash, then click on the logic uh, section and pull out the if then else loop. Put it in the forever block. Now we need to add something for it to evaluate. And so we'll go ahead and click on the input category and select the if pin pressed and put it where the true statement is. We're going to leave it to zero because we're going to use the zero pin um, for our positive connection. And now we need to put in something for it to do. So go ahead and select this show icon. We'll leave the first one to a heart. And then for when the pin's not pressed, um, I'll go ahead and duplicate that and, and stick it in that section and change it to the stick figure. We can test our code by using the simulator by, and pressing on the zero pin to see that the shape changes when it's depressed or not depressed. We don't need to worry about, about making the full connection here because it is just the simulator. It looks like it works fine, so let's go ahead and transfer it to our micro bit. To do that, go ahead and click on the download button. A file dialog will pop up where you can make sure that you have selected the micro bit and then click save and the code will download to your micro bit. Now if you take a look at your micro bit, you'll see it's flashing and that means the code's downloading. As soon as it's done downloading, you can go ahead and it'll go ahead and run. Okay, so that's done. Now let's hook up our, our um, alligator clips. Attach one to the ground, our negative um, side, and attach the other one to the zero pin, the positive side. Now we can go ahead and test it. Hold on to the metal part of the alligator clips on both sides and you'll see that it changes to a heart. And when you let go, it'll go back to a stick figure. 